The only true woman was a nice and happy wife who always listened to her husband and was a mother who should only be worried about the family and the home. At least that's how it was before 1920. Women didn't work, women didn't vote, women belonged to their husbands. This should irritate you. It irritates me because men and women are equal. It also irritated the women back then, and they did something about it. They fought for the rights to be equal to men. And on August 26, 1920, the 19th Amendment to the Constitution was finally ratified, making it for the first time that American women, like men, were equal and that they deserve all of the rights and responsibilities of citizenship. In the 1960s and 70s, people began to realize that even though women were now guaranteed all of the rights and responsibilities of citizenship in the USA, that they still didn't get jobs they'd be good at. But instead, men got them. And when they got jobs, they usually got paid less than men for the exact same job. This was something new to be irritated at. Women wanted equal pay for equal work. They wanted equal opportunity to get jobs, and they also wanted child care services so that they were not always just forced to stay at home and cook and clean. They finally did something about it. They made signs and protested and used their vote that they earned the right for back in 1920 to make these changes for us women. In 1963, they got past the Eagle Pay Act, and in 1964, they helped to pass the Civil Rights Act, which stopped bosses treating women differently from men. You might think that all of the work in history of women's rights means that women are always treated the same as men, but sometimes they still aren't. Some men still like to tell women what they can and cannot do with their bodies and tell them that their only job should be to have kids and cook and clean. And well, I'm not gonna do that for a job. When I grow up, I wanna be a teacher. As a woman teacher, I want the same rights as the men teachers at the school I will work at. I want all of us to be treated equal and have the same opportunities as anyone. I'm taking a stand as a feminist to say that as a girl, I demand to have the same opportunities as any boy. You know, this woman in the picture right here, she was a real woman, and they called her Rosie the Riveter. And she died January 20th, 2018 at 96 years of age. I think we should keep her spirit alive in our hearts and in our world. Feminism is the fancy word to describe the fight for equality for women. It's a fight that started almost 100 years ago in the US and is still happening today. Sharice Cramery, a famous feminist, once sarcastically said, that feminism is the radical notion that women are human beings. To me, and I hope to you, this is not a radical idea. Women are equal to men in every way. Feminism is for all people fighting for equality and human rights. I'm a feminist because I believe that all people are equal. I hope that you too will be a feminist. Thank you.